threatened to shoot me in the courtroom. So there was pandemonium. The judge ran into his chambers, his room. In, in the court? In the court. He said, they be careful. Be careful. I will, deal, I, will, I will shoot you. In court. Was he a military? Yes, he was one of Rollins' people. And he was sharing a common wall with me when I was secretary for Agriculture. He was secretary for Roots. So, and I knew, because I knew him, so my questions were very biting. So, the, 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 the session broke. But strangely, when he did that and the judge ran into his room, about five, seven macho men surrounded me. I didn't know where they came from. And they dared him to, 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 to touch me. So there was a standoff in the, in the, court. In the court. Because in the court they did court. the courts or? No, second court. Okay. Yeah. So... After some time, then the state attorney, very senior state principal, well, he was chief state attorney, he has died. Ampong, he has died. He rest in peace. He tried to cool down tempers and went in and brought the judge back. And the judge said he had closed the session for the day and again the case to the following day. We went back. And as we insisted that he will have to be searched. This Witness had to be searched before we will start proceeding because he threatened to shoot the following day, the, the day before. And now we don't know whether he was armed or not. It took a long, this guy too was just a prayed man <laughs> until this chief state attorney, you know, pleaded with me that oh, this man is your friend, you are neighbors, and you know he won't harm you and so on. So finally we agreed. And even though we proved the case, I even subpoenaed Rawlings to come as a witness, and he didn't he refuse. At the end of the day, they jailed the man. The, the judge ignored all the work we did and jailed the man. The man subsequently served the sentence, and shortly after that, he died. So that is one case that I, we lost, which disturbed me a lot. He jailed At, the editor? Yes. He was jailed, George Nakin. He was jailed. He was jailed for two years or so. And then he came out. He was already quite elderly. 